Namamsi. My name is Shubha and you are watching Tattvam YouTube channel. This is the third video in the Varnamala series. In this series, I teach how to pronounce the Sanskritam sounds correctly and also teach how to read and write the Devanagari script. Apart from this, I also give lot of details about the Sanskritam sounds in order to enrich your knowledge of Sanskritam. So please do subscribe to Tattvam YouTube channel and click the bell icon so that you will be notified when I add new videos. In this video, I will be discussing about the Plutaswaras in detail. In the first video, I had discussed about the Hraswa, Dirgha and Plutaswaras. If you have not watched the first video, I would highly recommend you to watch that video. So we had seen that Hraswa Swara is for one matra like A. Dirgha Swara is for two matras like A. And Plutaswara it is the longest one. It is for three matras like A. Now you may get a doubt. Where do we use these Plutaswaras? Plutaswaras are mainly used while calling someone. For example, Rama, Sita, Hey Krishna, Atra Agacha, like Hey Krishna, come here. So when that person is very far, we naturally use this. It is used in all other languages also. But in Sanskritam, this natural usage is carefully captured. Next, you may get a doubt. How do we write these Plutaswaras? They are written like this. A, E, U, R, L. A, I, O, Au. Now looking at the Plutaswaras, the way they are written, you may get a doubt. What do these numbers represent in the Plutaswaras? The numbers represent the Matras. Matra is the time taken to do one snap or one clap. Next, you may get a doubt. While all other swaras are having three matras written next to them, why do only I and O have four matras written next to it? This is because I is a combination of A and E. So one matra of A and three matras of E. That is why four matras are written next to I. Similarly, for AU, it is one matra of A and three matras of U. So, together, four matras for AU. The Panini's Sutra, which describes about the Hraswa Dirgha Pluta, is U Kalo Dhraswa Dirgha Plutaha. The vowel U is chosen uh, to explain the Hraswa, Dirgha and Pluta. Uh, in the grammar classes, the example of crowing of a cock is given. That is, the cock says coo coo coo. So, it represents the Hraswa, Dirgha and Pluta. When you read Sanskritam texts, especially Vedic texts, then you might come across something like this. I just chose this example. If you see here, after the C, there is 3. So this means that the E in C is a Plutaswara. So you have to pronounce it long, longer than the Dirgha Swara. Apart from Hraswa, Dirgha and Pluta variations of vowels, there are also other variations like Udatta, Anudatta, Swarita and uh, Anunasika and Ananunasikas. So, altogether, each vowel 
in Sanskritam has 18 different variations. I will explain all this in the next video. I hope this video was useful to you. If yes, then please do like, share and comment below. And uh, please do subscribe to Tatvam YouTube channel and click the bell icon so that you will be notified when I add new videos. Agrima video madhye punar milami dhanyavadaha.